I wanted to touch on showing you guys two things. Uh, one is how to properly set your slicer depending on what type of motors you have. And two, how to help tweak your bridging settings. So first thing is if you have um, basically 1.8 is 200 steps per rotation, 0.9 is 400. So that means that if you have a GT2 belt with a 20T pulley, that's 40 millimeters per full rotation. So 1.8 step removes 0.2 per full step. So its rated torque is for 0.2 millimeters. Now, if you go to half stepping or quarter stepping, which mostly we can't really get too accurate past quarter stepping, it's going to only have 38% of the torque. So if you try to go more than that, to eight stepping, it might not actually be that accurate. So at its rated torque of 0.9 is technically gonna have twice the resolution, but it might not necessarily be more accurate. And that can be really confusing, but the easiest way to think of it is if you look at like a ruler and your full steps are going between these large numbers. You can see them real clear, real easy. So a 0.9, these large numbers are going to be half the distance apart. And I can jump at them and I can really know where I am real fast, real good. So if I'm building a wall and I want it, say, at 100 and 150, I can jump back and forth, back and forth, and my walls are going to be perfectly straight. But now say I'm half stepping, you know, so I'm going to 125. So 125 to 150, you know, I'm still pretty good pretty strong but then as i'm getting more and more in detail micro stepping and i can't really see there's no numbers no labels so i'm trying to jump there especially real fast the way this is and i might be messing up i instead of going to 111 i might be going to 113 then 109 so my wall has more resolution but it's not as accurate it might not be perfectly straight and that's what happens with micro stepping so it's actually better to have sometimes less choices that I can actually hit. And I don't think people realize how accurate we really are talking, but you'd be pretty amazed. A human hair is 0 0.01 centimeters. So that's basically 0.1 millimeters. And when we go back to this, we're seeing that we're already at 0.2 millimeters. So a 0.9 stepper at full stepping is already at 0 0.1, and at half stepping, it's, you know, to 0 0.05. So, when we come back into our slicer, this, the default is 3. Really, I would lower it to 2, because I'd rather have something that's still half the size of human hair, but it's accurate at the time. It's going to make your walls not have those shadows when you look at it in the light. The extruder decimal, that's fine to leave real high because we want as much micro stepping as we can get. Um, it's not really looking to repeat positions except for arm retractions, in which case, you know, we still want more resolution. Next is for bridging. Default is set to disabled, like how, or remove bridges is, uh, remove perimeters is like the default settings that most slicers use and Prusa slicer, so on and so forth. Now what that does is that's trying to print a perimeter in the middle of the air and then it's obviously it's making its bridge inside there so it's going diagonal. It's not really the most ideal. This perimeter is probably pretty good but it's, it's using your overhang perimeter settings and then this bridge going diagonal. It's taking a longer route than it needs to. So if we turn around and we set this to keep only bridges. We don't want to keep only bridges on over. We just want to keep only bridges. That most of the time is going to be the most optimal because if you look, it takes the shortest path and it jumps straight across. Your bridges are going to work out a hell of a lot better. Hopefully this helps you guys. Uh, I'm going to keep trying to do more short videos like this that show more details on Super Slicer. And then uh, as I get more time, I'll uh, try to make a longer, more detailed, like fully advanced one after I get most of these basic things down.